We have an update tonight as we continue to work to clear up confusion over the state's unemployment system. People are reaching out to us at ABC Action News still wondering why their claims look different here in the new year. Our Heather Lee took those questions to the DEO this morning and she got answers. The new year has brought on new challenges when it comes to unemployment benefits. There's so much conflicting information out there, you know. We spoke to Michelle Chasen just yesterday regarding her claim. She exhausted her federal benefits under the pandemic unemployment assistance program last month and was kicked back to an ineligible status for regular unemployment. She was one of many left wondering what that meant and what the next steps were to get back on PUA so she could claim the additional 11 weeks of federal benefits extended by Congress last month. If we have to go through a whole, and I don't think we do, a whole reapplying thing, that, I mean, that's going to be a nightmare for everybody. Those building concerns prompted a phone call between myself and the DEO Wednesday morning to clear things up. Here's what I found out. PUA claimants who have exhausted their benefits and are waiting on the CARES Act extension do not need to reapply for reemployment assistance benefits right now. Not everyone is affected by the quarter change and not everyone will get the quarter change questionnaire. Do not wait to claim your weeks. In doing so, you could slow down the process of getting the federal extension. And the million dollar question that Michelle and others have been desperately wanting answered. If you exhausted your PUA benefits and your claim now shows you as ineligible for regular unemployment, don't do anything. The DEO says you will be automatically put back on PUA once the extension is ready. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.